Yo, what is going on, guys? So today we've got a video here from Alpha Central. Let's jump right into it. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm retired. I play a lot of golf, and I just recently celebrated my 49th wedding anniversary. Wow. That's pretty good, man. That's not easy. You got to feel respect, take her on great trips. For our 25th, I took her to China. And next year, I'm going to go pick her up. Man, that's the only true secret to a long and healthy relationship. Can I get your number? You can get my number. Yeah, yeah, Okay, wait. No, what? It's like a checklist of things I want in women. So. I weigh 170. Two. Oh. Whoa. Have a good day. It was nice meeting you. And that, my friends, is an Uno reverse being played in real life. Oh, interesting. I see so many of these women say that dudes lie about their height and things like this, or men lie about their jobs. Uh, but this is absolutely true. So many of these modern women are out here lying about how much they weigh. They're lying about how many partners they've had. They're lying about um, their ability to be a wife or a good girlfriend. They're lying about being faithful. I mean, the list goes on and on. But of course, it's very uh, unpleasant for them to have it exposed in any capacity. Interest rates are slim. Low interest rates, I'm sorry. You have a nice... Why? Because you, you can save some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this guy stood his ground against an influencer who was running out of content. <laughs> he probably saw into the future where she's fighting for half the things he owns. Would you date a girl with a fan site? I'll play it off, but she gotta pay me too, though. She has to pay you? Yeah, I love the fan site. What about you? Would you date a girl with a fan site? Hell no. No. No, no, no. That's part of your morals, no way. <laughs> Men, if you're gonna have one preference, just one, let it be no fan sites. I don't think any dude with any level of self respect wants to date a woman who has an OF account or who has all of these pictures of herself online. I mean, hell, half the time, even these women, they'll treat their, uh, their public Instagrams like it's some private thing. Like, they just post the most inappropriate crap, and then they're super surprised when men don't want to date them. You know, but to dudes, it's really damn obvious. We don't want to date women like this. We don't want to make them our wives. It's a complete waste of time, and it's disgusting. I think that maybe if this woman spent less of her time yapping on TikTok and more time taking care of her skin, she wouldn't come across as a complete witch and maybe people would actually empathize with her. Guys, I don't want you to be a witch either, which is why today's episode is sponsored by Tej Hanley. Guys, Tej Hanley is a skincare company dedicated to creating straightforward and simple skincare solutions for men. Their systems are designed to be incredibly easy to use. So even if you're like this woman in this video, perhaps you are one of the slower members in the audience, maybe even a male womanist who is hate watching the channel, even you can get the hang of using their systems. Guys, Teach Hanley offers various skincare systems to help improve your skin, but I recommend starting with their level one system. It includes a face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer as well. Everything that you will need to kickstart your skincare routine. I have personally used Teach Hanley's level one skincare system since before they even decided to sponsor the channel because I think that their stuff is just that great. And guys, if you're looking for some proof, head on over to their website and you will find an overwhelming number of five-star reviews from satisfied customers all around the globe. Just take a look at these reviews that I'm going to put up on screen for you guys now. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering an incredible deal exclusively for you. Click the link in the video description now to get 40% off of your first box, plus a free gift. Plus, as a member, guys, you will enjoy 20% off of future purchases. So don't hesitate any longer. Check out the link in the video description to start your skincare journey with Tej Hanley today. But now let's get back to today's episode. You know what I just thought of? What? No female has ever been to the moon. Why do you think that is? Oh, it doesn't need to be clean, does it? Boys, that sounds like a skill issue to me. My friend thinks you're really cute, and she's just shy. Is it okay if she comes over here? Come here, this is my sister. That's okay. This is my sister. Why? She's cute. How are you? This is my twin. What are you talking about? That's cool. That's my sister. 
I swear half the time, like women approach dudes, they literally just have a camera out trying to make fun of the guy or trying to make content out of him. Okay. And then we, you know, we wind up with situations guys where you have a whole bunch of women who are over the age of 30 complaining that, you know, men don't approach them anymore. Or, you know, even the younger women complaining that men just don't put in the same effort. They don't make things happen. I swear half the time men try and make things happen. They're just being recorded, right? Like, oh, why don't men approach me in the gym? I mean, so many of the women are sitting there with damn tripods. Okay. Or they'll end up calling him creepy or, or all of these sorts of things. Right? Like, why is it that we just have to try and pick on some random dude who's minding his own business? Right? Like, why can't people just leave people alone and not record them? You're married? No. Oh, it's okay. This guy is not married. He just, he just wants to get out of the situation. So Was this an experiment to show that men have taste? <laughs> Guy probably called up his contractor saying, you're never gonna believe this. Yo, look at that chest. Holy cow, is that even real? Like, actually, what Like, you literally can't be talking like that. That's what? Like, what? are you being my friend just Like, has, that's actually My friend just has a chest. You... Yo, I got this chest for you. No, you guys for me? Absolutely... I got it. Which one of you got it for me? I got it for you. Why, the why do you even, why do you have that? Like, actually, why do you have that? Like, Women trying to be a victim, trying not to be a victim challenge is impossible. Um, it's crazy to me, man, how if anything happens to these individuals, it's like they have to make it the center of their universe and they have to draw attention to how much of a victim they are. And I guarantee you, again, if the woman is attracted to the dude, she doesn't do this crap anyway, right? Something that's rude, something that's crass, something that's, you know quote unquote, socially unacceptable, if a man who's really attractive to the woman does it, then it's completely fine. But they always have to make themselves the center of attention. They always have to try and make themselves into victims because they think that this is how they get status, right? Like we have to say, oh, I was mistreated or, you know, men, men just are awful to me or he made this rude comment. Honestly, guys, it's getting to the point where more bullying should be around, honestly. Like so many of these individuals, they grow up and they're just the, so the softest, snowflakiest people to walk the face of the planet, even though they're the most privileged. Everything is a problem to them. It's problematic. Are, like, are you playing with Which, like what? little Lego? Me, no. There probably was a point where she realized she messed up, but a woman admitting she was wrong is rarer than one apologizing. My man saw the next 50 years of his life flash before his eyes and decided it was better to take a dip in the ocean. So I have a terrible cold, all right? But I'm also an optimist. So I look at this in a positive light where at the very, very least, I won't have to taste her cooking at all. Andrew, my cooking is good. And cooking, that is so... When she heard herself say it the third time, even she stopped believing in it. Kiss or slap? Slap. <laughs> she wanted a daddy. He became her father figure. I think this crap should just be straight up banned, man. Like all, all of these, uh, these like TikTok videos where they just record people in the middle of the mall and everything and try and make these silly situations out of dudes. Like what's the bet this woman walked away from this video and, and she's complaining like she's the victim. He became her father figure. Look at the 10 pounds of makeup you're wearing. No. Those are too cute for me. Yeah, you're right. You're out here. Yeah, just because you got 10 bodies doesn't make you a 10. Normalized clapping back at women <laughs> who've only ever encountered simps. Yeah. Where do I put it? On the ground. Oh my the goodness, man. man. In the world. That's all Not me, baby. Oh, me. Oh, 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 Hey, yes, sir. I'm recording it. Oh, and I do have a witness in here. Yeah. 
There's no oh, way, man. Oh, Jose, yo. You can sell her washer fluid is not working. She told me that too. Okay. Strong, independent women minus the strength and in independence. Look, I've never had a worse breakup. They all d the same thing. <laughs> women try to force themselves on me, and I get very frightened. <laughs> Forcing me to call, forcing me to listen when they call, forcing me to watch the duck they want to watch on television, forcing me to take them out, forcing me to wear what they think I look cute in, forcing me to play Xbox with them when they're not even interested in the game. They get pissed away. Forcing me to, forcing me to cuddle afterwards, even in the summer. It's hot. I still love you. Look at. <laughs> look at, look at her face, man. She is. She is not impressed. I mean, yeah, the, the truth of the matter is that dudes have to do a lot of crap that uh, that women require them to do in these relationships. Dare I call it, guys? Dare I bust out the term invisible labor? That's right, guys. It is invisible labor. I, I, you know what, guys? All of this invisible labor that men are doing, I just, I think it needs to be renumerated, right? I think that men need to be probably paid out at the end of the relationship, probably um, given alimony or something like this, you know, just for all of that invisible labor that, that men are doing. Perhaps we could get some sort of maintenance. What, what do they call it? Here in, here in Australia, they call it like uh, spousal maintenance or something like this when you when you break up after a long period of time or marriages or whatever, you still have to pay money to women. I think dudes should be uh, giving back some, some money for wasting their time. <laughs> Look at man, ladies, if you wanna know how to make your man happy, just think about what makes you happy and do exactly the opposite. <laughs> Feminists weren't ready for you, Patrick O'Neill. My man over here would have gotten cancelled left and right, so he beat them to it. I am newly single, and I have been single for three months, and I chose to leave the man. I was going to get married, he was perfect on paper, but I walked away. Why? Stupid. Because I am very... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why, like, yo, this is what I'm trying to say. Arranged marriages are a thing because women make bad decisions. No, kitty, kitty. because Actually, I'm like you. Yeah. I'm very picky and I know what I want. And it's like, although someone's maybe perfect for me on paper, and yeah, he treats me like a princess and things like that, there's things that I need. And if that person doesn't have it... You're 29. Yeah, so... Can you be a bit specific? Yeah, it's like, the yeah. person was a people pleaser... What? Like, no. we, not just with me, but with like the family, his his friends. It, it was like the people around him. He was just. So he's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah. See, this is uh, this is what happens when you're a man and you're a provider and you're not attractive to the woman. Is she will just end up leaving you or cheating on you? I guarantee you, this woman was probably cheating on him the entire damn time. Okay, there, you know how I say on this channel that men will put women into two different buckets? They'll put you into the uh, for fun only bucket, or they'll put you into something more serious. Women have two different buckets, and it goes something like this. It's basically provider, and then men who they actually want to be with and have intimacy with. They'll separate dudes into these two different categories, and usually they're not one and the same because... Men who are you know, typically going to provide for any woman like this they're not generally going to be the most attractive men, at least behaviorally, because they don't respect themselves, right? Any dude who respects himself, any guy who has a spine, doesn't want to look after a woman like this. And so she's going to go and find a man who has a spine who won't give her anything, and she'll go sleep with him. You see what I'm saying? To those of you who don't know what she wants, don't worry, she doesn't know either. How old do you have to be then as a woman to be considered a leftover? I think around 30, like after 30 years old. But if you're after 35 years old, then just you're out of the market. You know, it's, it's more like you don't have to consider about getting married anymore. Just to maybe have a child on your own is the best way for you. In America, they'd call that a woman who knows what she wants. In China, they call it what it really is. I thought in China you didn't even have to be 30 and they considered you to be a leftover woman. Um, but at least, you know, at least in China, they know what the hell's happening, okay? Because if you're a woman and you get to age 30, 
what have you been doing the whole time? I mean, let's not kid ourselves, guys. Women have options, okay? It's not the same for men, and the reason why is because men don't always have options. They have to spend a very long time uh, building up to have any sort of consideration from women. Women from the age of 18, I mean, they can get a dude, they can get married, they can have their long-term relationships. So if you get to 30 and you're still single, that's, that's like playing musical chairs for a decade and you still miss a chair. You just, no, no, that sounds like a skill issue. That's what that is. Roll the window down. No, I'm not, I'm not rolling the window down. Roll the window so down. So please leave. <laughs> she's, she's, <laughs> Roll the window down. No, I'm not. No way she's trying to break his window. <gasps> Look on the bright side, King. At least now you get to sue her for twice as much. Babe. I already know what I want for Father's Day. What? I know I know it's gonna be hard, but I want you to shut up the whole day. <laughs> you trying to get up, that's the problem right now. You think I'm playing? I'm not gonna give you When it comes from her, it's funny. When it comes from him, it's a call to nine one one. How are you equal if the men are the ones that have to fight and die to defend the country? The men are the ones that build and maintain all the infrastructure right like none of this stuff in the studio is built or maintained by women do you know that like 90 percent of infrastructure jobs are still held by men mm -hmm. and that if you look at the top 20 jobs held by women now in 2024 versus 1924 are almost the exact same so women have had 100 years to do whatever they want and they still do the same 20 jobs they did 100 years ago see modern women will just complain and say that they don't have any choice um, but, you know, women have the choice to be a plumber. They have the choice to be an electrician, to be a carpenter, you know, to do all of these sorts of jobs. But they just don't want them, guys. You see, they want all of the power and none of the responsibility, none of the difficulty. Oh, the patriarchy, the patriarchy. You could apply to be a plumber tomorrow. You could start your apprenticeship. You could get going on that career path. But you don't because you don't want to do the plumbing, which is fine. But don't complain about it and say that you're equal to dudes after. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, man. This woman's not wrong. Literally everything in this studio is probably built by a dude, maintained by a dude, designed by a man, invented by a man. Like, I mean, the list goes on and on, right? Other than we switched out farm labor for HR work, but other than that, we're secretaries, nurses, daycare ladies, early childhood education, administrative assistants, retail workers, all the same that we were a century ago. <laughs> And you know what, guys? I don't trust these women around kids, uh, to be honest with you. All of these liberal, strong, independent women, uh, they make for very creepy teachers, to be honest with you. I don't want them around young children. Hell, half of them are confused about what the hell they even are, and you're expected, you know, I'm expected to leave a child that I have with them. Which, by the way, guys, I don't have kids, um, but I certainly don't want to live, uh, leave kids with women like this. It's, you know, I personally think it's a dangerous idea. It's a bad idea. That's interesting, and it really makes you think if it was ever about equality. When was the last time that you had a period? <laughs> you don't remember, okay. There could um, be a slight chance I might be pregnant now. Really? And why do you say that? I've been craving weird things that I'm not... Normally craving? Yeah. And now you crave it. What, like lettuce? It. Hmm. Like water. Well, some of it I'm could be. water. I mean, guys, I was just making a joke, but I wasn't really that far off, was I? Who the hell doesn't crave water? Do you not get thirsty? I'm assuming this woman just drinks like energy drinks whenever she's thirsty. Oh, that's so bad, man. <laughs> Look at the doctor's face, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think I could deal with individuals like this on a daily basis, man. I mean, absolutely not. pregnant you're thirsty you're just thirsty go drink you some water It'll be all right. <laughs> unless she can self-reproduce there's, no there's no chance anyone got her pregnant if i text you yeah throughout the day like at various points in the day to check in what check in what you checking for? like if i what am I, four square? I'm like you, in. you leave. I don't give a So you leave at like eight o'clock. I yeah. text you around like 10 to say, hey, what's up? How's your day going? And then I text you again around like 12 and say, yeah. hey, are you having lunch? What are you eating? What's yeah. up? 
and then I call like you. Just at nonsense like, stuff. Huh? Like just nonsense stuff. Just like checking in, not like nonsense. I'm, like I have nothing to do right now. No, Type just text. like, are you okay? How's it going? Are no, you I just a fell. Good Thank you for checking. <laughs> I've been laying on the floor. Why didn't you call? <laughs> Uh, why didn't you just get up and go? No, because I'm waiting for your <laughs> call I to have make my sure answer. I'm okay. I was going to ask. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it when I check in multiple times through the day? Do you ever feel as if maybe it would be nice to just hear from your, from me, from your spouse? During the day? Yes. Yeah. Like, how are you? How's your day going? Yeah. Yes? That'd be nice. So I should do that? Yeah. Like a few times a day? At least six, seven times. <laughs> <Can> <laughs> <laughs> this guy is he's got to be joking so here's here's the reason why dudes don't typically like this um it's because they're working it's because they're busy because they're doing things right if you message a guy w women think this is like so innocuous and it shouldn't really matter but if you're messaging a man every two hours you're interrupting him every two hours right and that may not seem like a big deal to you who is doing nothing for two hours at a time but if a man's working you're you're interrupting what he's doing right you might think it's oh just a quick you know few minute chat and everything but all of a sudden you've taken 15 minutes out of his time and now he's 15 minutes behind where he should have been okay women don't seem to understand this right they they just think that a lot of them should be able to get a rich guy a man who makes a lot of money and then they're just shocked and surprised when he actually has to work hard and he can't be texting you all day and women are like, well, I'm not texting him all day. I'm texting him every few hours. You're, you're still checking him, checking in on him multiple times. That's really what it is. But the man is busy. Okay, so leave him alone. You be real. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm uh, going to call you six, don't seven call, times tomorrow. Just text. Okay, I'm going to text you yeah. six, seven times tomorrow. You better text me back. No. Why? I didn't say I'm going to text back. I'll read it. I'll say, oh, wow, she thought of me, and I'll go back to doing what I was no, doing. No, you have to text me no, back. No, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to know what you're doing at that time. Why not? I don't care. <laughs> She'd actually be the first one to walk out of his life if he ever got laid off for talking to her all day instead of working. Viewers were shocked at the real ages of Love Island contestants. The all of these women are in their 20s. Here they and are. <laughs> you are not telling me this is in, this is 20s. What do you have to do to look like this in your 20s? Like, is this, is this, what kind of substances do you have to be on to look like this as a woman in your 20s? And this is after makeup, guys. I don't know what's happening here. I'm sorry, they don't look like they're in their 20s. No. Nope. My name's Nicole, I'm 24, and I'm from Aberdeen in the Valleys. I'm an accounts manager for a family-run business. Hi, I'm Harriet, I'm 24, and I'm a dance teacher from Brighton. My name's Jess, I'm 25, I'm a retail manager, not just any retail manager, from Stockport. Absolutely insane. I can't believe that they look like that. This is a war crime. Charge <laughs> the plastic surgeons with war crimes. I am being 100% serious. When you fill your face, you're actually stretching out your skin. You have to keep going back again and again to reverse the damage that you've done until you look bloated like Leonardo DiCaprio. Is this really Love Island or an episode of Botched? Maybe you just think that women should be equally represented in the decision-making fora of our nation. I, I don't understand your question, I well, guess. I guess you <laughs> yeah. don't. That's pretty I, obvious, unfortunately. Well, how about if you phrase it more clearly instead of just insulting me? <laughs> look, 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 look at it this way. Let's talk about quotas for a minute. So there's a, a very wide array of jobs that are fundamentally uh, done by men. 99.9% .9 of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if, 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 if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented it? in all professions at all levels. Well, we, Why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? I'm fully convinced at this point that mansplaining was created by feminists to save face when they got schooled by a man. Yeah, and here's the thing. I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody has seen this conversation between Jordan Peterson, and I believe this woman is Australian, which makes me incredibly embarrassed. Um, in Australia, guys, this kind of thinking is absolutely rampant still. It's really quite disgusting. Um, so many of the women here are incredibly brainwashed and awful. Um, the thing about this conversation is that it's not 
about equality. They don't care about the bricklaying jobs. They don't care about the plumbing jobs. They don't care about being an electrician. They don't care about maintaining society on any sort of structural level. What they care about is being able to yap in the House of Representatives. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They don't. They care about the power, but they don't want any of the responsibility and they don't want any of the difficulty that comes with having any of said professions. Okay, guys, like I said earlier in this video, that these um, w women are allowed to apply for these positions. They just don't. I'm talking about the things like plumbing and bricklaying and such like this, but they don't care. They don't want to do this nonsense because it's too hard and there's not enough payoff for them. Mind you, somebody has to do it. Somebody has to drive the trucks. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a female truck driver, right? I, I don't, it's not like I'm looking out for them or anything. I'm sure there's some female truck drivers, guys, but it's certainly not common. Nobody's stopping the women from becoming truck drivers, but they just don't do it. Providing is in the Bible, okay? You cannot call yourself a man of God or a man of faith if you're not a provider. Read Being a virgin is in the Bible. Can we, can we just move on? The Bible. Yeah, that part of the Bible's talking about his wife. Not some chick he met at the Carolina Classic and went on two dates to the Cheesecake Factory. It also says that your duty will be to your husband and he shall rule over thee. And we know y'all don't want to be ruled over. So do us all a favor and stop quoting the Bible. Women love to pick and choose the passages that benefit them. If she'd flip over a page, she'd know it was only for virtuous women. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. <laughs> you could already tell this guy's like 26. She looks 35. You already know what's going through this guy's head. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You know, women will come on this show, guys. They'll wear, like, a bright rest, red dress, high heels. They'll do their hair. They'll put on, like, 35 pounds of makeup and then insist that your eyes be locked onto their eyes. It, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, you're dressed completely and utterly for attention. And yet you're annoyed when dudes give you attention. Don't be surprised when men turn around and they don't give you any attention anymore whatsoever. The women I deal with, they don't have hair on their... Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. No, I was, I was looking at the hair on your Anyways, arms, queen. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me the question. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm in hills and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much, Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's good. all good. Maybe the real reason why they rejected him was because they knew they were about to get cooked. What's one race? I find it funny that these women will just be absolutely... They'll think that they're the prize, right? But, like, look at, look at the size of this man, okay? This dude has probably spent a good amount of time in the gym. This guy's got huge arms. He puts effort in. Okay, it looks like he's got a line up on his hair. He's dressed nicely. He's he's doing the part, okay? This man has probably spent a great many hours in the gym. This woman comes here, looks half like a dude, looks like she's 35, puts on 35 pounds of makeup, and she thinks that she's the prize in this situation. I think it was the same video, right, where the Chinese lady was on here saying about how women are left over when they're 30. It's just funny to me how no matter what the situation is, the woman always thinks that she's the prize and that the man has to do something. To be honest with you guys, I think a lot of these men um, who are on these particular shows and things like this, they put way more effort into themselves than the women do. Like, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Like, they put way more effort and time into their bodies and the way they present themselves than the women do. One race you wouldn't date. I'm not into black women. Oh! <laughs> Why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think I'm ugly? No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just a preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't like get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But like a girl who's like fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just. So it's just like a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. No, I love black people, but I'm just not attracted really to black women. Solid point at the end. If a black guy says that he doesn't date white women, she'd call him a black king or something. Date who you want. Yeah, uh, guys, again, anytime a man has a preference, it's obviously a problem. Um, and I also think, so, the, the reason why a lot of guys don't like dating women of that particular ethnicity is because black women are oftentimes just incredibly masculine, 
right? I think that's what it essentially boils down to. They don't really have an issue with your skin color or whatever the case may be. It's just that so many of these, the, the individuals who are black end up being incredibly masculine, right? And again, anytime a dude says, listen, I'm not interested in dating masculine women, or it's just a preference that I have, then obviously it's a problem. But I guarantee you guys, you know, some woman comes on here, she says that she won't date a guy who doesn't earn a certain amount of money. That's fine to say. She won't date a guy who's a certain height. That's fine to say. He doesn't like dating certain races. That's totally fine for her to say. But if a man says it, it's a problem. Guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. And guys, just a quick announcement. We are also, uh, we currently have applications open for Fiend Gang. So if you are interested in helping me save some brain cells, if you are interested um, in assisting me to cover some of this content, some of this cringe that is on the internet, make sure you check out that application form in the video description. But otherwise, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.